Sarah Michelle Geller, Freddie Prince Jr., and their kiddos are saying ciao. The I Know What You Did Last Summer co-stars recently took a family vacation to Florence, Italy with their 13-year-old daughter Charlotte and 10-year-old son Rocky. Sarah posted pics to her Instagram story on Tuesday, starting off strong with a selfie of she and her hubby, penning over the pic, Italy, we have arrived. The actress continued giving her fans glimpses into their Italian getaway, posting pictures of the stunning views and even sharing that they were off to a private dinner as a family. Sarah did, however, cover Charlotte and Rocky's faces in photos of them with green heart emojis as they try to keep their children's identities private on social media. She also shared a snapshot of her and Freddie smiling with their children, captioning the pic, La mia familia a Franz Italia. The Cruel Intention star also posted the selfie of she and her longtime love to her Instagram, captioning the post, Siamo arrivati, let the Prince family Italian adventure begin. Hashtag Florence. Sarah and Freddie have been married for over 20 years. They met in 1997 while filming the teen horror film, I Know What You Did Last Summer. But the two did not begin dating until 2000. They were engaged in April 2001 and married in Mexico in September 2002. The couple seemed to love going on adventures with their two kids. Access Hollywood chatted with Sarah in September 2021, and she shared what it's like going on vacation with their children and how they really got into Buffy the Vampire Slayer during 2020. I was also going to ask um, about your kids. I saw recently that you went with your family. You got to go to Disneyland. What does that feel like finally having some sense of normalcy back and getting to spend time with your family, you know, outside of the house? You know, it's hard. It It's like, it's great, but it's also not the Disneyland of before. And mm -hmm. you, know, you wear your mask and, you know, you try to keep distance, but it's hard. Disneyland's crowded. But for us, it was just spending time with family. We hadn't been to Star Wars land yet, which we were just so desperate to see Rise of the Resistance and Smugglers Run. And it didn't let down. We did. I tried to get my youngest son on um, Screaming Over California or Ca the Credit Coaster. Sorry, it's called the Credit Coaster now. Um, but he didn't, he didn't go for it, but he did go for Splash Mountain where I proceeded to be the one that got soaked. <laughs> well, he's braver than me. Splash Mountain. I don't like anything that drops. So yeah, <laughs> not alone. My daughter wouldn't go on it. I don't even fly with her. Oh my gosh. Too funny. I was also going to, I saw recently that you said that your son is not a fan of you and your husband's PDA. Does your daughter feel the same way? Oh, that's so interesting. Um, no, she doesn't care. She goes, oh, that's cute. Oh, that's so sweet. I love that. And I also read, speaking of your kids, that they started watching Buffy in the pandemic. Are they now officially fans of the show? Yeah, I mean, I think that they loved it. I think they got a kick out of it. I think there's probably things that they would like to watch more than watching their mom. Um, but they definitely did enjoy it. And what does it feel like to share these kinds of moments with your children? I know so many people grew up watching Buffy and other projects of yours like Scooby-Doo. How does, but how does it feel for you now watching your own children see these projects um, through their eyes? Well, it's hard for me. I don't love to watch myself. I always feel like there has to be something better I could be doing than watching myself. So it was always difficult for me. So I just tried to like get into the story of it and I would find myself like, oh, I didn't remember that, or, oh, that's really cool, I didn't, so you do get to watch it with, like, a different set of eyes. 